So I've bought a Corsa VX. The reason being is all my cars that I own are pretty much useless. A 710 horsepower X6M isn't the best around town due to you don't need 710 horsepower going around town and it's huge. And the M4, a slight bit of rain on the floor and no thank you, I will not be taking that car. So this seemed like the best option. Well, I've never had a hot hatch before. So I thought, might as well get something that's a little bit fun instead of buying something that's just as a runaround. So I thought this would be pretty good. So it is Corsa VXR in the blue. I didn't care what color it came in. I just found this color to be the closest, but now I'm glad it's blue. It matches the X6. Obviously, it's a different shade of blue, but having two blue cars are pretty awesome. The main thing that attracted me to this car, these Recaro seats, these are amazing. Like in a car that costs, what, 15 grand, 14 grand brand new, it has Recaros. My X6M base price, they start at £100,000 and they come in the crappy standard X5, X6 seats. And these get these for free. So, the interior is nothing special. Uh, I don't know if these bits in blue come standard. It might have been the previous owner has uh, painted them, got them to uh, color match the outside, but they do set the car, like the interior off. It's a manual. That was a big thing as well. I'm glad uh, the VXRs, I don't think you can get automatic, but I wasn't looking for an automatic anyway, because, well, both my cars are automatic and having something manual in the garage makes it a lot more fun because then I've got three totally different cars. Overall, uh, the problems I've encountered so far is rust on this side and it is it's a tiny bit by there as well. And the other thing is, as you might have noticed how dirty this uh, back wheel is, the brake caliper had seized, which the owner did tell me, and he gave me uh, pads for free. He told me there's something wrong with them. So uh, first thing I'd done the day I got the car was take it to the mechanic and just left it for the day. They checked everything that's wrong with it. The only thing that came up was the brake calipers. And whilst he had done that, because it had seized, we needed new discs as well and pads as well, which I've done everything on. So, what's it like to drive? It's actually pretty much amazing because I haven't owned a manual for four years. So this is my first manual car in four years. Why have I missed having a manual? It's so much more engaging, it's so much fun. And that's the key, if you're interested. So. What I was glad came that with this car was a UX. So I didn't know because of obviously the age of the car. I didn't know if it was going to come with anything and that would have been a big play. I would have had to get one of them screens on you, but I'm glad that it comes with Vox, so that's pretty cool. These seats are really amazing, like they hold you in place. The reason I wouldn't buy a new shape one of these was I prefer the old shape because this shape looks much better and I forgot to mention as well, the spoiler. He has put another spoiler on, I haven't done that. but. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, and this exhaust. 
being a central exhaust, that's so cool. Like the newer VXRs have got a tip on each side, but nah, this this is amazing. That looks much better than having two exhausts on the side. It's so different, like I've never seen any triangle exhaust just in the center. I think it suits this car a lot. And another thing that made me want this car so bad as well is this looks totally different from a standard Corsa. Like even the M cars don't even make this much of an effort to make the car different. Like the normal Corsas don't get any spoiler or any of this. The side skirt, obviously the wheels, and then this by here. And these mirrors are so cool as well. They are fixed in place, but they look so cool. That's a little 1.6 litre turbo engine. Such a nice little car, like. Right, time to drive. Where this comes into play is, it's a manual and it's front wheel drive. My other cars are all wheel drive, rear wheel drive. So, this being front wheel drive, that means I've got one thing there different from the other two already. And then, the main thing is that it's a manual. The other two are not. So, that went into a lot of decision making as well. this car I've had it for a week the reason I haven't made a video sooner is like I said the brakes needed doing and that was more important because I couldn't drive like this if I had not done the brakes obviously for my safety and for ruining the car there's no need so let's do a little u-turn back So that's it from me, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll be keeping you up to date with this little car.